Hello everybody, this is Evan with Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today I am bringing you a review of Dragons vs. Unicorns. So this is a prototype version here that we got for review. I'm going to take you down to the table, uh, show you um, the basics of the game, and tell you a little bit about it. Then I'm going to bring it back up and give you my final thoughts. <music> So down here onto the tabletop, um, I'm going to show you dragons versus unicorns. So the game itself is played with these two decks here. So one deck is for the dragons, one, play, one deck is for the unicorns. So the idea of the game is to battle out with these mythical creatures and see who in the end can still be standing. So the game starts your, um, whichever side you're going to play, if you're playing with two player or four player. Um, two player, four player, one side is going to be dragons, one side is going to be unicorns. If you're playing a three player game, you actually will be playing as both and you can mix and match the cards together. But in this example, we're going to be doing it as a two player game. So you're going to draw on whichever side you are, you're going to draw five cards to for your initial hand. So in once you have your initial hand there, it starts with the youngest player. The youngest player will go first and during their turn they have five actions that they can do um, so the action can be drawing or playing cards out of their hand so miscellaneous cards that they have in their hand they can play up to five draw up to five or a combination thereof so with that you're trying to build let's say that they the first player is the dragon player they're trying to build up their dragon so that they can attack the other player now attacking is this whole separate action so if you're not if you're going to attack you declare that before you draw anything or play any cards and you can't do that this round you only can attack there are some ability cards and special cards that will allow you to play cards um, along with the attack but we'll go into some of those cards here in a little bit so that's it for about the deck so I'm gonna pull these aside and I'm going to show you some of the dragons and unicorns that you can create and how they get built so when you're playing out the various um, dragons or unicorns you always have to start with the head and work your way down so like we have this one that has the acid breath flipper legs and baby wings so you're gonna see that there's a number here with those and we'll talk about those numbers here in a little bit so both dragons and unicorns have a three card creature they also have a five card creature so we have this one here slide this over and put this one out here there we go. So like this one has the molasses breath, dynamite sticks on the chest, a butterfly wing on this side, an invisible wing on this side, and zero gravity boots. So that would be the five card combination for a dragon here. So I'm going to take him, pull him apart, pull the side. I'm going to show you a couple here uh, for the unicorns. So we got this one, the lightsaber horn, some smelly socks, and a lightning tail. Now as I'm putting it together, you notice that the colors of the creatures are all the same. They have to be the same color in order to go together. And here's a five card combination for a unicorn. I built these right before I started this so I could show you how you would build them out. Like I said, you always start with from the head. Now, as you're playing, um, if you're attacking or defending, say you only have this much of your unicorn done, you still can attack or defend with it. But we'll talk about that here a little more in a little bit. But, yep, here's the five card unicorn. It has the ice cream horn. Zombie squirrel bazooka. Dinosaur tail, pit bull feet, and skeleton legs there. 
And as you can see, um, with the theme and you know with the cards that are coming out, the the idea of the game is to make some absurd combinations. So we're gonna pull out. Also help if I put them in the right order. There we go. So we'll pull these two back out here. And we're gonna say that it is the dragon player here is gonna go first. So it's their turn. We have this built up like that. The dragon player is going to attack. So we have to attack. We pick which unicorn we're attacking. Or likewise, if we we're the unicorn attack, we'd pick which dragon we're attacking. And then the attacker goes first. They take this die. This die has a one, a two, and a three. And then one, two, three on it. So what you do is you roll it, and you go two, and see what you rolled. Now you're going to compare it to these numbers here on the opposing creature and you're going to assess to see if you did enough damage to flip over and take the cards and put it into your point pile as defeated. So since I rolled a 2, we see we have a 2, a 1, and a 1 here. So if you rolled less than what they have here, you don't do any damage. And then it would turn into the defenders, they would get to attack back. If you're able to defeat a body part by doing enough damage with your roll, that card gets turned over. So I did a two, so this baby wing is a one, that flips over, the slipper wing is a one, that gets flipped over, and the sassy breath is a two. That was enough to get flipped over. Once a creature's all their parts gets flipped over, you collect them all, and that goes into your points pile. Now let's reverse this and say that it was the dragon that was attacking the unicorn, and they rolled it too. So the lightning tail would get flipped over, the smelly socks would get flipped over, the lightsaber horn, because it's a three, not enough, it wouldn't flip over. Now it would be its turn to attack back. Now once a battle starts, you have to fight until one person is defeated. So they would go, they would roll, two, all this would flip. Let's say they rolled a one, and we only flip these, leaving the head. It would now go against here. Didn't, back, three, that would be enough. The dragon got defeated. Now, if the attacker was successful in that, they could choose to go up against another um, creature um, of the defenders if they so choose. Now, a couple of the other cards that can come out on your turn. So, one of the cards that you can play during your turn is there are armor cards. It's basically a extra spot. So, let's say we have that here. We put this armor, we just put it right above the person there. And it is straight up, it says roll a three to remove. So it's just like an extra spot to protect our unicorn, or dragon in this case. Um, another one is if you're getting attacked, there's a card that dodge. It straight up ends the attack, that person's turn is over, it goes to the next person's turn. And there are other ability cards here too, like I pulled this one out from the dragon deck. Thunderfart. So turn over all defeated body parts of one dragon. So in that situation that we had this, these two got damaged, we gotta play Thunderfart to flip these back over. So the rule book in itself is pretty pretty light. Um, and the game goes pretty quickly here. So you're going to keep return. Um, you're going to keep repeating this here until uh, one player can either no longer battle, play cards, pick up cards, any of those. 
that's when the game over is over. You tally up how many defeated, if you have a pile of defeated, plus whatever creatures you have out that are still intact, you count up their points too, add that all together, and that is your final total. So, I'm going to take you up from the tabletop and give you my final thoughts here on Dragons vs. Unicorns. So final thoughts here on Dragons vs. Unicorns. So this is a super, super lightweight game. Um, the game itself here, as it says onto the box, it is for ages 7 to 107. So if you're 108, sorry about your luck. But um, overall, this game is um, super, super simple, super easy to learn. Um, as I mentioned to the review there, the rule book is this. Now, I will say that it is a prototype, so some of the stuff, you know, is not finalized. One thing I hope that they do fix is the layouts for the rule book. It was not the best choice, but everything that you need for it is in there. You just kind of have to stare at it for a minute and you'll figure it out. Um, overall, the game plays very quickly. Um, it's definitely designed, you know, as a super, super lightweight game. So um, don't expect a lot out of it. But for what, you know, what it is, it does a okay job at that. So I would recommend that as people, you know, trying to, you know, look for a light party game, you know, with just a couple people. Um, which in that space, usually you need... Uh, more than two or three people to have a good um, lightweight party game so this fills a nice um, void uh, that's out there in the gaming world but so that's dragons versus unicorns if you uh, like our content definitely hit the subscribe button every subscription definitely helps us out hit that like button too and if there's anything out there that you want to see us review definitely hit that up in the comments down below let us know um, what you want us to see us review or if you have any comments about this one We'll definitely check those out. Until later, this is Evan with Tabletop Gaming Go. Have a good night.